Today's episode of A Few Minutes of History comes with a disclaimer warning. Some of the content you're about to hear may be upsetting to some viewers. In my episode today, I shall be talking about one of the most notorious and evil units within the SS. A unit so horrible and feared that even the most evil men in the SS were repulsed by their actions and tried to distance themselves from it. I'm of course talking about the Der Levanger Brigade. The Der Levanger Brigade were effectively a unit of psychopathic criminals named after and led by their very own violent convicted criminal boss, Oscar Der Levanger. Der Levanger was a decorated veteran of the First World War who had won the Iron Cross first and second class for bravery. After the war, he gained a degree in political science. In between his studies, he joined several paramilitary groups where he engaged in street brawls with communists. After this, he found himself joining the Nazi party. In 1934, he was sentenced to two years in prison for sexual crimes involving children. He was kicked out of the Nazi party for these crimes before joining the Condor Legion and fighting for the fascists in the Spanish Civil War, where he was wounded several times. After this, the Nazis allowed him back into the party. In 1940, the De Levange Brigade was created. It was initially made up of criminals who had been convicted of poaching. It was decided that these men could be useful in hunting partisans in German-occupied territory. A few hundred men were given the chance at joining the unit. Eventually, however, due to a lack of poachers, the unit began opening up its ranks to a mixture of convicts, burglars, murderers, sexual criminals, and even those listed as criminally insane soon joined the ranks of the De Levanga Brigade, turning the unit into a place where the most mentally deranged individuals could enact their sickest fantasies on the population of conquered countries. The unit was never intended to be deployed as a frontline combat force, but rather as an internal force that would be kept behind the lines and unleashed on the population of the town or city it was nearby. The unit's behaviour often disgusted the units it was near to. In Lublin, in Poland, the unit would beat, murder and assault civilians so cruelly that the SS commander in the area lodged a complaint about their behaviour and the unit was subsequently moved to Belarus where it continued its appalling behaviour. In Belarus, the De Levanger Brigade came down hard on the local population. One of their favourite acts of terror would be to herd the local population into barns, which would be subsequently set on fire. Anyone who tried to escape the barns would be shot. The brigade murdered an estimated 30,000 civilians in Belarus, causing the SS to launch an official investigation into their behaviour. By August 1943, the unit had grown in size to three battalions, and at this stage of the war, the Soviet Union was on the offensive and the De Levanger Brigade found itself on the front line. The unit suffered heavy casualties in battle against the Soviets, as expected when fighting an enemy that could fight back rather than innocent women and children. De Levanger received the German cross in gold due to his perceived bravery on the front line, as well as receiving several wounds in action. The unit would be then returned to Poland to help stop the uprising in the Polish capital of Warsaw, and it was here in 1944 that the unit's diabolical behaviour reached a disgusting peak. The unit among others, was effectively given free reign to do as it pleased to the local population. Around 40,000 men, women and children were murdered in the Wola district of Warsaw in just two weeks, including patients in hospital as well as nurses and doctors. Perhaps the most infamous incident took place inside a children's home, in which Der Levanger ordered his men to murder around 500 children. In an effort to save ammunition, they were told to bayonet them or use their rifle butts. For his actions in Warsaw, Der Levanger was given the Knight's Cross and promoted. The unit took heavy casualties during the uprising in clashes with Polish resistance, and it was subsequently reinforced, and by December 1944, around 4,000 men were in its ranks. It was once again pressed into frontline service in Hungary. The unit, unsurprisingly, once again suffered heavy casualties, as their actual soldiering ability was very limited. Towards the end of the war, Der Levanger was wounded for the twelfth time, and as the end of the war loomed, the unit began to fall apart. Der Levanger himself went into hiding, and his men began to desert in huge numbers. It's believed that 700 of the unit's men surrendered to the Allies and survived the war. The majority of the men were not punished for their war crimes. Oscar Der Levanger was captured by French troops in June 1945. He died in captivity. Supposedly, he was beaten to death by Polish soldiers, but that has never been proven, and his death is still shrouded in mystery only known to those inside the cell. And with that concludes today's video. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you on the next one.